the Gospel of Luke. Introduction Luke in Acts 1 verse 1 refers to the Gospel of Luke as the former treatise, which would make the book of Acts the latter treatise. This gospel account along with the book of Acts were used as legal documents for Paul's defense of his faith before the emperor in Rome. Acts 1 verses 1 to 11 are a recap of the last verses found in the Gospel of Luke. Luke 24 verses 45 to 53. The book of Luke starts 31 years earlier than Mark's gospel, which starts at the time when John the Baptist turns 30 and begins his public ministry. This means that Luke's gospel begins four and a half prophetical weeks before the 70th week of Daniel. A prophetical week is seven years. Chapter 1 Luke 1 verses 1 to 2, KJV, For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. As many have taken in hand to set forth in order, Luke is talking about the other gospel accounts. Luke tells us that they, the writers, delivered their writings unto us the Jewish people. Those things which are most surely believed among us, this speaks about the things related to Jesus' birth, life, teachings, death, and resurrection, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, the apostles saw these events take place. Acts 1 verses 21 to 22 Wherefore of these men which have companied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John, unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. Luke 1 verse 3 KJV, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus. It seemed good to me also, Luke didn't claim that God told him to write this gospel account, he said, it seemed good to him also, to write it. Having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, Luke had perfect understanding of the events and the ministries of John, Jesus, and the twelve apostles during the time that they ministered to the children of Israel. Luke does not claim to have been an eyewitness to all the events as the other gospel writers had, but only that he had perfect understanding of the events, which he had heard from the actual eyewitnesses. Which has led many to believe that he is the most likely candidate to be the writer of the book of Hebrews as verse 3 of its second chapter sounds a lot like the opening verses of the gospel of Luke. I do not know who wrote the book of Hebrews for sure, but Luke would be my best guess, and Paul would not even make the list, because the writer of Hebrews declares, like Luke does here, that he heard the message from those that heard Jesus. Hebrews 2 verses 3 to 4 How shall we escape, if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with divers miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will? Paul said that he didn't get his gospel from men, but by revelation directly from Christ. This means Paul couldn't have written Hebrews because the author of Hebrews said he received his message from them that heard him. Which also would imply that Luke was not a Gentile, because the twelve restricted their ministry to the circumcision, the Jews. Matthew 10 verses 1 to 7 and Acts 11 verse 19. You can read about this in the discussions that took place at the Jerusalem Council in Acts 15 and Galatians. Galatians 1 verses 11 to 12, But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Luke was the only person with Paul near the end of his life. 2 Timothy 4 verse 11 Only Luke is with me, comma. Galatians 2 verse 9 And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. To write unto thee, most excellent Theopolis, he is a person of political power and prestige. The Gospel of Luke probably began to be written while Paul was with Luke in Jerusalem when he was arrested, or when he was taken to Caesarea and imprisoned there for the next two years. 
those who think Luke was a Gentile usually quote Luke's references to the circumcision in the book of Acts as proof text that he himself was an uncircumcised Gentile. Paul says the same thing all the time, and we know Paul was circumcised on the eighth day according to his own words. Colossians 3 verse 5 KJV Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Paul and Luke were speaking of the circumcision as those that were following the law of Moses, the twelve, and who were not a part of what Paul was preaching. Luke 1 verse 4, KJV, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things, wherein thou hast been instructed. Theophilus had been previously instructed by someone, concerning all the events leading up to Saul's conversion, and now it had to be written down for Saul slash Paul's future defense. Luke 1 verse 5, KJV, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. A certain priest named Zacharias, Luke now jumps back to the time 15 and a half months before Christ's birth to the temple in Jerusalem. A priest named Zacharias was about to begin his two-week duty in the temple where he would burn incense to the Lord twice each day, in the morning and in the evening. Of the course of Abia, Abia, or Abija in Old Testament Hebrew, was a priest who ministered in the tabernacle during the days of King David before the temple was built. He was the leader of a course of priests who were to burn incense unto God. In 1 Chronicles 24, King David appointed 24 courses of priests. These courses were to minister in the tabernacle and later in the temple for one half of a lunar month, 15 days each year at the same time every year. The Jewish year begins in mid-March. The months in the Jewish calendar. 1. Abib slash Nisan Exodus 12 colon 2, 13 colon 4, Genesis 8 verse 13. 2. Zif 1 Kings 6 verse 1, Genesis 7 11, 8 14. Solomon begins to build the temple by laying its foundation. 3. Savon Esther 8 verse 9. 4. Thomas 2 Kings 25 verse 3. A famine came. 5. Ab Ezra 7 verses 8 to 9, Numbers 33 colon 8 and 2 Kings 25 verse 8 Nebuzaradan came to Jerusalem. 6. El Zechariah 7 verse 1. 7. Tishri 1 Kings 8 verse 2, Genesis 8 verse 4 aka Ethanim. 8. Bull 1 Kings 6 verse 38. The temple is finished seven years later. 9. Chislu Nehemiah 1 verse 1. 10. Tevath Genesis 8 verse 5. Nebuchadnezzar comes to Jerusalem. 11. Sebet Zechariah 1 verse 7. Deuteronomy 1 verse 3. 12. Adar Esther 3 verse 7 and 2 Kings 25 verse 27. We already know that John was six months older than Jesus by the accounts of their births in Luke 1 verses 24 to 37. Then it is logical that if we can figure out when John was born, that we can figure out roughly when Jesus was born. Luke 1 verses 36 to 37 and, Behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. The course of Abia, Abijah, ministered in the eighth course of priests which was during the second half of the fourth month on the Jewish calendar which is the month of Tammuz, or our second half of June, and the first half of July. Zacharias would have ministered in the temple from July 1st until the middle of the month of July. We can also see from the account in Luke chapter 1 that Elizabeth conceived as soon as Zacharias had completed his course, which would have been about the 16th day of July. Luke 1 verses 23 to 24 And it came to pass, that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived. By adding nine months to the date given for the completion of Zacharias' ministration, ministry, we can place the birth of John the Baptist at approximately April the 15th on our calendar. 
Jesus' approximate date of birth could then be determined by adding six months to John's birth date, which would bring us to around October the 15th. Does anything significant happen around October 15th each year? On the Jewish calendar, it coincides with the Feast of Sukkot or Booths, Tabernacles. It makes sense then that Jesus would come in tabernacle with Israel during the Feasts of Tabernacles. December 25th was given to us by the pagans who worshipped the birth of the sun god on that very day. Zacharias and Elizabeth. Luke 1 verse 6, KJV, And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. They were both righteous before God. They were righteous because they walked in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. That's the law of Moses that Israel was still under until after Jesus died. Hebrews 9 verse 6 KJV Now when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. Blameless, no one could say they were breaking God's laws, so God chose to bless them in spite of Israel's breaking their covenant. Luke 1 verse 7, KJV, And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. They had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, Elizabeth was barren because Israel had broken the covenant that God made with them. Deuteronomy 7 verses 11 to 14 KJV Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments, and the statutes, and the judgments, which I command thee this day, to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments, and keep, and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers, and he will love thee, and bless thee, and multiply thee, he will also bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep, in the land which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. They both were now well stricken in years, the scriptures tell us seven times in one chapter alone, that a priest was not allowed to minister in the tabernacle slash temple once they had reached the age of fifty. Numbers 4 colon 3 from 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Zacharias and Elizabeth were in their very late 40s, very close to 50 to be considered well stricken in years. Luke 1 verses 8 to 10, KJV, And it came to pass, that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. The order of his course, the course of Abia. 1 Chronicles 24 verse 10 KJV the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah. His lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple, twice a day, at the morning and evening sacrifices, the priest who had drawn the lot to burn incense would first purify himself at the laver before entering the holy place. He would then approach the lamp, menorah, and take the fire from the lampstand and use it to light the incense on the altar. Exodus 30 verses 1 to 8 KJV and thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon, of shittim wood shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof, the horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns thereof, and thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about and two golden rings shalt thou make to it under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shalt thou make it, and they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And thou shalt make the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning, when he dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighteth the lamps at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. 
The aroma from the incense, spike nerd, would fill the whole house and it would represent the prayers of all the people of Israel that had come to offer unto the Lord on that day. The people were praying at the time of the incense, Acts 3 verse 1 KJV, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. The ninth hour of the day. The same hour that Jesus cried out to the Father in prayer. Matthew 27 verse 46 KJV And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? That is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? An angel of the Lord. Luke 1 verse 11 KJV And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. An angel of the Lord, the word angel means a messenger. It was an angel that was delivering a message from the Lord. Remember that there were one third of the angels that rebelled with Lucifer. This was not one of them. Revelation 12 verses 4 to 7 KJV And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God, and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Why did scripture record that this angel of the Lord stood on the right side of the altar of incense? The right side is considered in scripture as a place of power and honor. Psalm 110 verse 1 KJV A Psalm of David The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The altar of incense, Exodus 30 verses 1 to 8 KJV, And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon, of shittim wood shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof, the horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns thereof, and thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about. And two golden rings shalt thou make to it under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shalt thou make it, and they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And thou shalt make the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning, when he dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighteth the lamps at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. Luke 1 verses 12 to 13 KJV, And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Fear not, numerous angelic visits begin with angels saying fear not, which no doubt was appreciated by Zacharias. Matthew 1 verse 20 with Joseph, 28 colon 5 with the women at the tomb, Luke 1 verse 30 with Mary, 2 10 with the shepherds, and lastly to Paul on a boat heading to Rome, Acts 27 verses 23 to 24. Thy prayer is heard. Zacharias had just finished his prayers for himself and the people when he saw an angel of the Lord. Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Why John, Jehonan in Hebrew? His name means Jehovah favors. Lamentations 4 verse 16 The anger of the Lord hath divided them, he will no more regard them, they respected not the persons of the priests, they favored not the elders. The priests were not respected by the people because they were corrupt, with the exception of a few like Zechariah who was righteous before God and blameless. John would be favored by all men, not all women, however. Remember Herodias? Jesus asked the chief priests, scribes, and elders about John's baptism. 
Mark 11 verse 32 For all men counted John, that he was a prophet, indeed. Read verses 27 to 33. The story of Zacharias and Elizabeth is very similar to the story of Manoah and his wife, who was also barren. An angel of the Lord appeared to him as well and delivered the message that his wife would have a son, Samson, who would begin to deliver Israel. Judges 13 Samson began to deliver Israel from their physical enemy, the Philistines, and many years later John the Baptist began to deliver Israel from their spiritual enemy. Luke 1 verses 14 to 15, KJV, And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. He shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Remember the words of Jesus concerning John the Baptist. Luke 7 verse 28 Among those that are born of women there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. Manoah's wife was barren, and Zacharias' wife was also barren. Samson was a Nazarite from his mother's womb. John was filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. Shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, both John the Baptist and Samson were not allowed to drink wine nor strong drink. There is no proof that John was a Nazarite. He shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. This occurred when he leaped in his mother's womb when Mary saluted Elizabeth while pregnant with Jesus. Luke 1 verse 41 Luke 1 verses 16 to 17, KJV, And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Malachi 3 verse 1 He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. Malachi 4 verse 5 KJV Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Zacharias will later on in this chapter prophesy that John the Baptist would give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins. John would eventually preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Luke 3 verse 3 and 729 To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, Malachi 4 verse 6 KJV, And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord, Isaiah 4 verse 3 KJV, And it shall come to pass, that he that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem, shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Malachi 3 verse 1 Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Who was it that Isaiah referred to as that one in whom Israel delighted in? It was the Messiah. What covenant was it that he was a messenger of? It was the new covenant. Luke 1 verse 18, KJV, And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. Whereby shall I know this? What sign will you give me to prove this? Gabriel would make Zachariah dumb for his unbelief. Luke 1 verse 20. Luke 1 verse 19, KJV, And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to shew thee these glad tidings. I am Gabriel, a chief angel. Daniel 10 verses 12 to 21 KJV. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but, lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. And behold, one like the similitude of the sons of men touched my lips, 
Then I opened my mouth and spake and said unto him that stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this my Lord talk with this my Lord? For as for me, straightway there remained no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me, and said, O man greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee, be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia, and when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. But I will shew thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael your prince. Luke 1 verses 20-22 20 to 22, KJV And, behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And remained speechless, the men with Saul and Paul on the road to Damascus heard a voice of the Lord, and they were speechless. Ezekiel 24 verse 27 KJV In that day shall thy mouth be open to him, which is escaped, and thou shalt speak, and be no more dumb, and thou shalt be a sign unto them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel 33 verse 22 KJV Now the hand of the Lord was upon me in the evening, afore he that was escaped came, and had opened my mouth, until he came to me in the morning, and my mouth was opened, and I was no more dumb. Daniel 10 verse 15 KJV And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. Acts 9 verse 7 KJV And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. The birth and childhood of John. Luke 1 verses 23 to 25, KJV, And it came to pass, that, as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. After those days, the days of Zacharias' ministration at the temple. Verse 23 above. To take away my reproach among men, many people looked down upon Elizabeth because of her bareness, because God promised that he would shut Israel's wombs if they were disobedient to the covenant. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14 Thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. He also said none would rule over them as long as they were obedient to the covenant. Rome, however, was ruling over Israel, and a woman who was previously mentioned as blameless concerning the law was barren, but no longer. It was not because Elizabeth's sins that she was barren, but because of the nation's sins in rejecting God's covenant that he would cause some in Israel to be barren. Elizabeth's barrenness was not her fault. It was so God could be glorified. People are not barren today because of their sin or their nation's sin. We are not Israel in a covenant relationship with God. We are the body of Christ under grace. Gabriel visits Mary. Luke 1 verse 26, KJV, And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. In the sixth month, the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, a city of Galilee, a region in the north near the Sea of Galilee. Luke 1 verse 27, KJV, To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. A virgin espoused to a man, she was engaged to Joseph. Isaiah 7 verse 14 KJV, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Joseph, of the house of David, he was a descendant of King David. The virgin's name was Mary, Miriam in Hebrew. Luke 1 verse 28, KJV, 
And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. Hail, thou that art highly favored, she got to be the one woman in all of Israel who gave birth to the Savior. Blessed art thou among women, Jael was blessed above women. Judges 5 verse 24 KJV Blessed above women shall Jael the wife of Heber the Kenite be, blessed shall she be above women in the tent. Mary was blessed to have such an opportunity to serve God by bearing and raising Jesus. Luke 1 verses 29 to 30 KJV And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Thou hast found favor with God. While there were many virgins in Israel in Mary's day, she found favor because she was a virgin in the lineage of King David. Luke 1 verse 31, KJV, And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. And shalt call his name Jesus. The name Jesus is Joshua in Hebrew, which means salvation. Didn't God's word to Isaiah the prophet say that a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel? Yes, so why is the name Jesus given by the angel, and not Emmanuel? Isaiah 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel means, God with us. God was with man for 33 and a half years the first time he came and was rejected of men, but God with us has a much more intimate meaning than God just being with man for a short time. Emmanuel means God is with Israel forevermore, and when he comes back, he will never leave Israel again. When Jesus came the first time, he came to offer salvation, and that is why his name was first called Jesus. His name will be called Emmanuel when he returns to live on the earth in the kingdom forever. Luke 1 verses 32 to 33, KJV, He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. The Son of the Highest, Israel would have to believe that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. The Lord God shall give unto him throne of his father David. Jeremiah 33 verse 17 KJV For thus saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. He is to reign over a united Israel as the verse mentions his ruling forever over the house of Jacob. Jacob's name is used as it was before the dividing of the nation under Solomon's son. Luke 1 verses 34 to 35, KJV, Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. I know not a man. She was still a virgin. The Son of God is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 and 1 John 5 verse 7. Luke 1 verses 36 to 40, KJV, And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. Thy cousin Elizabeth, Mary pledged to serve the Lord by serving her cousin Elizabeth during her final three months of pregnancy. Many call Elizabeth Mary's aunt. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word, a handmaid was a servant. Luke 1 verses 41 to 42, KJV, And it came to pass, that, when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, and she spake out with a loud voice, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. The babe leaped in her womb, 
This was when John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Luke 1 verse 15 And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. This was so that she might proclaim Mary as being blessed among women, because she was chosen to carry God's Son. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. She was also filled to pronounce the child in Mary's womb was blessed. The angel did not tell Elizabeth that her cousin was going to be the mother of the Messiah. God told her spirit when she was filled with the Holy Ghost as Mary saluted her when she walked in the door. Luke 1 verses 43 to 47, KJV, And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For, lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. The mother of my Lord, Elizabeth said that her cousin's child was her Lord, her master. God my Savior, Mary acknowledged her need for a Savior. Luke 1 verses 48 to 55, KJV, For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden, for, behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath shewed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath hope in his servant Israel, in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. He hath hope in his servant Israel. The last two verses mention that God has kept his word to Israel in sending them their Messiah in the midst of their enemies. Psalm 86 verse 17 KJV Shew me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hope in me, and comforted me. Luke 1 verse 56 KJV And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Mary would begin to start showing that she was pregnant at about the time of her return, which would immediately begin to cause everyone in Nazareth to think she had been unfaithful to Joseph while she was away. Luke 1 verses 57 to 59, KJV, Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had shewed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass, that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, this was according to the covenant God made with Abraham. Genesis 17 verses 9 to 14 KJV And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore, thou, and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee, every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people, he hath broken my covenant. Luke 1 verses 60-63, KJV, And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, there is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father, how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table, and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marveled all. His name is John. This is what Gabriel told him to call him. It means God's favored. Jehovah's favored. Luke 1 verses 64 to 75, KJV, And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spake, and praised God. 
and fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost, and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. The mercy promised to our fathers, Deuteronomy 7 verse 12 KJV, Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments, and keep, and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. His holy covenant, the law, the oath which he sware to father Abraham, to bless the earth through Abraham's seed. Genesis 26 verses 1 to 4 KJV. And there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech king of the Philistines unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him, and said, Go not down into Egypt, Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of, sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee, and unto thy seed, I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Luke 1 verses 76 to 77, KJV, and thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, John gave Israel knowledge of salvation. Jesus' name means salvation in Hebrew. The baptism of repentance that John would later perform on believing Israel would be for the remission of their sins. Luke 1 verses 78 to 79, KJV, Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The day spring from on high hath visited us, Isaiah 60 verse 1 KJV, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Malachi 4 verse 2 KJV, but unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Zacharias was filled for the time it took to proclaim the prophetic word that he uttered concerning John, and when he finished, he was no longer filled with the Holy Spirit. We today are sealed with the Holy Spirit, and he never leaves us, but he does not give us prophetic pronouncements from time to time. We are not Israel under the law to give light to them that sit in darkness, Psalm 107 verse 10 KJV, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, Isaiah 9 verses 1 to 2 KJV, nevertheless the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Luke 1 verse 80, KJV, And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the deserts till the day of his shewing unto Israel. And waxed strong in the spirit, this was also said only about Jesus in Luke 2 verse 40. John, as it was mentioned of Samson, was empowered by the Spirit to do what the Lord wanted him to do. Judges 13, 25, 14, 6, 19, 15, 14, and 16, 20. And was in the deserts till the day of his shewing unto Israel. Zechariah now would be retired from the priesthood because of his age, and he took his wife to live in the deserts to raise him away from the corruption in Jerusalem. 
It was John's 30th birthday when he began to shew himself unto Israel, because a priest was not allowed to minister until 30 years of age. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV From 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation.